Well, not only is Davis Stilwell in South Korea, but the top U.S. negotiator in defense cost sharing talks with South Korea is also in Seoul for a four day stay. Observers here in Seoul say he appears to have come to gauge public sentiment in South Korea over the Allies' negotiations on their cost sharing for the U.S. troop presence on the Korean Peninsula. Here's Eason Jay with the details. James DeHart, the senior advisor for Security Negotiations and Agreements Bureau of Political Military Affairs and the top U.S. negotiator in defense cost sharing talks with South Korea, arrived in Seoul on Tuesday. Very good to be here this, this week. Thank you. Watchers say his visit through Friday may be aimed at gauging public sentiment over the two countries' cost sharing negotiations. DeHart is expected to have an unofficial dinner meeting with representatives from Seoul's foreign ministry, including his counterpart Chung Eun Bo, and meet South Korean lawmakers as well as journalists. The visit comes as DeHart and Chung failed to narrow the gap in their defense cost sharing talks in Hawaii last month. Under the 10th Special Measures Agreement struck in February, Seoul agreed to pay $870 million this year. But reports say the Trump administration wants $5 billion for 2020, a figure that's considered far too high by South Korea. It's true that the U.S. side is asking for much more than they did in the past. While South Korea and the U.S. will meet in Seoul later this month for further negotiations, observers say it's unlikely the heart will engage in any form of negotiations during this particular trip. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.